Mark. What are you doing out here? I've got some things on my mind. This is where you come to think, Cal's Barn? Yeah, something like that. All right, let's try this again. Mark, what are you doing out here? Lily's up there. With him. With Diego? Yeah. The man that killed my wife and killed her husband. Where did you get that idea? From you. In Templeton, you're the one that said she was going after big fish when she got whoa, killed. Whoa, 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 whoa. We were talking about a man named Umberto Melzone. Yeah, that's right. That's Diego. How did you jump to that conclusion? It wasn't much of a jump. When I had time to calm down and think about what she was trying to tell me when she died. I thought she just said the name Umberto and that he was dead. Yeah, that's right. That's what I thought, too, at first. So what do you think now? I think what she was trying to tell me is that Umberto is Diego Santana. But that's just a hunch, right? Do you have any proof? No, not yet. All right, Mark, let's assume, just for argument's sake, that Jones did stumble across something that linked Umberto and Diego. Shouldn't you be going to the FBI with this information? What are you doing out here in the middle of the night at Cal Stable? Freeze! Show me what's in your hand. Mark, hand me your gun. It's not mine. It belonged to my wife. It was her backup gun. Too bad she didn't have any other backup the night she got killed, huh? That was a tragic accident, Mark. No, it was no accident, Margo. And Berto Mazzone killed my wife, which means Diego Santana did it. Mark. Oh, come on, Margo. You know and Berto and Diego are the same person? I do not know that, and unless you have proof, you don't know it either. I don't have to have proof. Diego Santana killed my wife. She's gone, Margo. Did you think he cares? The whole town tour showed up tonight for his engagement party. They showed up to honor Lily. Yeah, and she's a widow now because of him. I was on Damien's plane, too. You think I don't want to get to the bottom of that crash? Why haven't you? I am trying. Whoever is responsible for Damien's death, whether it's Humberto or Diego, whoever it was is not going to get away with it. Yeah, well, he has. Look, Mark, I'm not going to pretend that I knew Jones better than you, but I did know her. And I do know that if she were here tonight, she'd tell you you're playing a fool's game. She'd do all she could to talk you out of using that. She'd tell you to back down and let the professionals handle it. The professionals? The professionals? You mean the, the federal butchers of investigations? Now, you mock her. You pretend to honor her. You know she didn't feel that way about the FBI. No, she did. She respected the law and the system. Yeah, but it let her down. The system failed her. No, it did not fail her, Mark, but you will fail her if you continue like this. Do you really think she wants her life revenged by you wasting yours? in your future? Do you really think that she wants to be remembered by you spending the rest of your days behind bars, Mark? A common criminal? No. Hand me the gun. Mark, if you won't do it for yourself, you do it for her. What you think I'm doing? Nothing happened. I thought you were going to sleep with him. I'm not. I'm not. He just brought me this wonderful outfit and he wanted me to put it on. You followed us? Look, I couldn't take the chance. Did he say anything? No. But he will. Don't worry. I saw him leave. Well, I sent him on a wild goose chase. To? I pretended that my engagement ring was missing and he went back to... To, to the Falcon it. Club, okay. Yeah. I had to get rid of him for a while so I could get rid of this thing. Get it off me. And when he comes back? I'm spending the night. Lily! What are you, are you out of your mind? Do you think he's going to keep his hands off you dressed like that? He promised me. He said we're going to spend the night talking, and he's going to tell me about himself. But first, I have to find some place to put... 
Hey, sis, what do you think? What if, if I put it in my purse? What, what do you think? What are you talking about? I don't know anything. I'm about. sorry, I forgot. Lily, you really think that Diego's going to be content just talking? I told him I wanted to wait until we were married. And he agreed, just like that? Yes. I played the destiny card. He really seems to buy into that. Margo, he's not going to force himself on me. I don't like this, Lily. Neither do I. But it's the only way. You said at the party that you were feeling shaky. I was. I was, but I feel much better now. Diego is this close to telling me, Marco. You're determined to go through with this, aren't you? All right, Lily, if you're going to pull an all-nighter, so am I. No, Marco. This is I not up for you... discussion. I stay out of sight. If anything goes wrong, I'm out by the stable. I can't Lily, let you come do on. This. It's a simple stakeout. I do it all the time. It's not a problem. It's going to be a problem if Tom starts asking questions. Margo, if I felt I was in any danger, I would tell you, but I'm not, so you don't have to worry about it. Lily, I wouldn't let a professional do this without backup. He's not going to hurt me. Look, okay, if I run into any trouble, Cal is right next door. Why don't you just go home and get some rest? It's if I could get any rest knowing what you're up to here. It'll be worth the wait. Trust me. Hopefully by tomorrow morning, we will have everything we need to put Diego away. Where you been? Oh, I'm sorry, honey. I woke you. No, no, sweetie. I must have, I must have just fallen asleep. Oh, it's late. Yeah. Well, I got to the station and there was just so much paperwork on my desk. It was just a mountain of it. So I thought, well, as long as I'm there, I might as well just do it. I'm well, sorry, I lost track of time. I called the station about an hour ago. You weren't at your desk. Well, then I guess I was someplace else. I figured that, honey. Where were you? Have you ever noticed that I'm not nailed to that chair? I could have been anywhere. I could have been in the evidence room, in the properties room, in the ladies room. Could have been involved in that Malzoni case again. What is it with you? That's not the only case the department is working on. We well, could have We've got assault me. and battery. We've got a, a burglary in the plastics factory. We've got a theft in a jewelry Look, store. Look, I realize it's not the same old quiet piece. Tom, of you know what? I'm You've got to stop it. I'm tired, and I really don't want to come home to a cross examination every night. All I mean, right? That's not what I'm doing. Look. I know you mean well, but you're really beginning to get on my nerves. I think there might be an explanation for that. You're looking for problems where they don't exist, okay? Okay. Okay. No, if you don't mind, I'm really tired, so I'm gonna go to bed.
Brace yourself, lady. Get ready to crash and burn! Damn you! 